Over the past three years, more rappers have suffered from gun and gang violence than any other time in the history of rap music. Every day we get out of bed, it's either one rapper was shot and killed, or one rapper made it out alive. While many rappers have lost their lives from gun violence, there were still some who were lucky enough not to get killed. Keep watching till the end of this video to see rappers almost caught lacking. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Lil TJ In June 2022, rapper Lil TJ's name became headlines after being involved in a deadly shooting in New Jersey. According to reports from the Edgewater Police Department, several 911 calls came in reporting that they heard gun sounds in the area of 14 The Promenade in Edgewater, New Jersey. Unfortunately, when the cops got there, they found 21-year-old Lil TJ in his own pool of blood at Chipotle. TJ had been hit multiple times in his chest and neck, and their first response was to help reduce the bleeding and send him to the nearby hospital. Unfortunately, TJ had to undergo surgery as he was in a life-threatening situation. On August 3rd, a photo of Lil TJ went viral after he was seen smiling on a FaceTime video with a couple of his friends. The picture was the first time that TJ's face was seen after the tragic shooting. The rapper was, however, discharged from the hospital a couple of days after the picture went viral, and according to his close friends, Lil TJ was 100% healthy again. One of his friends, Megan James, took to Twitter to share the good news about the rapper's health. Spoke to my dog today, my boy 99% back to normal, and full of jokes LMFAO. God is so good, she wrote. A screenshot of the tweet was shared on Reddit where fans immediately celebrated the rapper's recovery. Some of his fans could not believe that he survived the near-fatal incident, while others rejoiced at the recovery of the King of New York. Honeycomb Brazy Rapper Honeycomb Brazy is no stranger to gang life and street violence, as he was already getting into trouble with the feds at age 10. To top it off, the rapper is in his late 20s and he's already spent a decade of his life locked up. So when he almost got caught lacking, it wasn't surprising that he was able to save himself from the situation. In November 2020, Honeycomb Brazy went out with a couple of his friends to buy a Kobe Bryant jersey in Montgomery County. After getting the jersey, he thought to make a video to share the outfit with his followers on Instagram. Unfortunately, while he was on the live video, things soon went south as bullets began ringing in the air. In no time, the screen went dark, and neither Honeycomb Brazy nor his friends were seen. But the gun was still being fired. Shortly after the incident, surveillance footage from the scene was made public, showing another angle of how Honeycomb Brazy got caught lacking. As seen in the footage, a BMW drove past the rapper and his friends, and a few seconds later, his crew began looking for cover while hiding behind the car and reaching into the back seat to grab their guns. They all attacked right back at the assassins, and at one point, a guy in the driver's seat jumped out and started running toward another vehicle. More than 50 rounds of ammunition were fired that day. Thankfully, no one got hit. The unfortunate incident was linked to a man who had been on Honeycomb Brazy's neck from an incident that went down in 2016. Back in 2016, Honeycomb Brazy allegedly assassinated a man called Stank, who was well known and loved in their community. The incident occurred when Stank pulled up to his girlfriend's house and found Honeycomb Brazy there. The rapper claimed to have been there to sell her some w but an argument broke out that took Stank's life. Although Brazy wasn't jailed for the incident, he became very much hated in his community, and gangs began attacking him. The attacks on the rapper's life got so severe that his grandparents lost their lives in the beef after their home was set on fire. Spida D Chicago rapper Spida D was caught lacking. However, he was lucky enough not to get killed in the incident. Being a rapper in Chicago, it's never surprising when the news of a shooting happens, especially when the rapper goes about threatening his ops. This was exactly what happened to Spida D. Not many people knew Spida D before the crazy attack on his life, but people who knew him weren't shocked that the incident had happened. You see, Spida D is a Chicago rapper from Altgeld Gardens, and he is also affiliated with the Black Disciples. 
While he was on Instagram Live on his block, Spider D was fired at by his ops. He was talking about the gangster disciples and the black disciples. He bragged about not having to wear a bulletproof in his hood because he wasn't scared of his ops. He said to his fans, I'm good in these streets. However, before Spider D could hop off the live video, his ops showed up. Bullets were heard ringing and he and his friends had to pull out their weapons to attack back. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Megan Thee Stallion While we often see male rappers get caught lacking, sometimes the women in the industry are also caught lacking. Megan Thee Stallion has had her name in headlines since her tragic summer of 2020. It's two years later and she's still reminded of the time that she was caught lacking while hanging out with her friends. In the summer of 2020, the hot girl summer coach Megan Thee Stallion experienced the wildest night of her life with a story that involved friends, love, and fun. Megan was caught lacking and ended up with a bullet wound in her foot. According to the accounts of the fateful night of July 12, 2020, Megan Thee Stallion, whose legal name is Megan Pete, alleged that the incident began because she wanted to leave a party before the group she was with did. An argument, however, broke out since they didn't want to leave. According to Megan, the argument was between rapper Tori Lanes and her ex-best friend Kelsey Harris as they left a pool party because she was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Megan claimed that at the time the argument started, she wasn't even the one in it. Instead, it was between Tory Lanes and her friend Kelsey. She asked to leave the vehicle and that was when the situation began. He was standing up over the window of the car situation, said Megan. Tory Lanes had allegedly pulled the trigger on Megan the Stallion on that fateful night, and Tory's first reaction wasn't to help her, but to ask her not to tell the public what he did. He went as far as offering her money to buy her silence. I want him to go to jail. I want him to go under the jail. 6 9. Every month in the year of 2022, New York rapper Takashi69 has had his name make the trends for one reason or another. So it was no sooner than later than he was going to trend for being caught lacking. On April 27, 2022, 6 9 was punched when he went for an outing in Miami. 6 9 had an appearance and a guest performance at the Pilos Tacos Tequila Garden in Miami. While walking through the aisle, someone from the audience threw a punch at the back of his shoulder. However, 6 9 seemed unfazed by the attack from the hater. The rapper's hater took off after taking a swing and hasn't been heard from since. Do you think any of these rappers had seen the attack coming? Which of these rappers do you listen to? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.